The purpose of this video is to help you understand how nitric oxide therapy can improve the wound healing process. With this in mind, we need to understand the key components for both. When we talk about using nitric oxide therapy to speed the wound healing process, we focus on your endothelium, which lines all of your cardiovascular system, and how your endothelium converts the semi-essential amino acid L-arginine into the miracle molecule called nitric oxide, how each plays a critical role in the wound healing process. In reviewing the scientific literature from the National Institutes of Health, there are four precise and highly programmed phases to wound healing. They are rapid hemostatus, inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. For a wound to heal successfully, all four phases must occur in the proper sequence and time frame. And the one tissue that plays a vital role in every phase of wound healing is your endothelium. So let's start with phase one. Rapid hemostasis is a process that causes bleeding to stop. This is a combination of vascular constriction, platelet aggregation, and fibrin formation or thrombosis. Your endothelium releases chemicals to cause vascular constriction. While the endothelium is designed to keep blood platelet cells from sticking together, once injury occurs, they turn off this part of their chemical sequence to allow for platelet aggregation, which is blood clotting over the injured area. Additionally, your endothelium begins to secrete a chemical called the von Willebrand factor, which enhances blood clotting. Without your endothelium properly performing the sequence, you could bleed to death. Thus, a healthy endothelium is critically important to the first phase of wound healing. Phase 2. Appropriate inflammation is a combination of neutrophil, monocyte, and lymphocyte infiltration. This phase is designed to protect you from infection. While this is a function of your immune system, the endothelium allows these immune system cells to migrate into the wound through a specialized barrier function. If your endothelium has been damaged by plaque formations, atherosclerosis, or calcification, arterial sclerosis, then its ability to act in the specialized barrier function is compromised. Again, a healthy endothelium is critically important for the second phase of wound healing. Phase 3. Proliferation has several parts to it, but basically it's during this phase that the majority of healing takes place. In this reparative process, quote, fibroblasts and endothelial cells are the most prominent cell types present and support capillary growth, collagen formation, and the formation of granulation tissue at the site of injury, end of quote. Capillary growth is called angiogenesis, and this is a major function of your endothelium. Why? Because your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. This is a critical phase because capillaries allow for the exchange of oxygen and nutrients to provide the needed energy and components for proper tissue repair, while facilitating the proper removal of waste products. The healthier your endothelium, the faster this phase can occur. Phase 4. Remodeling is where collagen is realigned so that this architectural component approaches that of normal tissue. This process is both complex and fragile. Factors that interfere in this process are diabetes, venous and arterial disease, infection, and metabolic deficiencies. In this phase, your endothelium plays an important role since the delivery of oxygen and nutrients and the proper removal of waste products can speed this remodeling process. This is also where L-arginine can play a critical role. According to the National Institutes of Health, quote, arginine is a semi-essential amino acid that is required during periods of maximal growth, severe stress, and injury. Arginine has many effects in the body, including modulation of immune function, wound healing, hormone secretion, vascular tone, and endothelial function. Arginine is also a precursor to proline, and as such, sufficient arginine levels are needed to support collagen deposition, angiogenesis, and wound contraction. End of quote. There are numerous studies showing the importance of L-arginine in enhancing the wound healing process. 
This means that anyone telling you that L-arginine is not beneficial to you, especially if you're over the age of 40, is completely off base. There is one more critical factor to enhancing the wound healing process, and that's oxygen. Oxygen is involved in almost every phase of the wound healing process, from preventing infection to helping to induce angiogenesis or the formation of new capillaries to collagen synthesis in the remodeling phase. The key to improving oxygen delivery is improving circulation. The key to improving circulation is increasing nitric oxide production, since nitric oxide causes the smooth muscle of the vascular wall to relax. This allows for better blood flow. With better blood flow, you deliver more oxygen. Additionally, your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. When you improve endothelial cell health and function, you improve capillary function. In the lungs, this aids in helping you bind more oxygen to the hemoglobin of the red blood cells. And at the injured tissue area, your capillaries allow for more oxygen to be released to enhance the wound healing process. Improved circulation also increases the delivery of needed nutrients for tissue repair as well as removal of metabolic waste products. This creates a better environment for all four phases of the wound healing process. The proper application of nitric oxide therapy can enhance the wound healing process, which could save billions of dollars in healthcare expenditures. But more importantly, the ability to enhance the wound healing process through nitric oxide therapy could save lives and limbs. While the dollars and savings are important, it's the ability to help people recover quicker, especially diabetics and the elderly, that this information on nitric oxide therapy and how it can enhance the wound healing process is so important to understand. It's with this in mind that we implemented the Million Lives Project. Our goal is to help a million people or more understand how they could effectively use nitric oxide therapy to significantly improve their overall health. How nitric oxide therapy can reduce your risk for cardiovascular health issues like high blood pressure, diabetes, sexual and cognitive function issues, and poor wound healing. One of the primary ways to do this is through our ebook, which is titled Empower Your Heart with Breakthrough Nitric Oxide Therapy. To help us accomplish this goal, we would ask you to do one or more of the following. First, if you found value in the information contained in this YouTube video on nitric oxide therapy, then please share it with others. Second, if you want to apply nitric oxide therapy to help you address your cardiovascular health concerns or the concerns of family and friends, then please contact the person who shared this information with you. They can help you obtain our ebook on nitric oxide therapy. Third, if you have a passion for helping others improve their health, then consider joining our Synergy family. Part of our mission statement is blessing lives with better health. If this interests you, then contact the person who shared this information with you. Thank you for watching and being a part of the Million Lives Project as we help others understand nitric oxide therapy and how it can be a natural way to improve all aspects of their cardiovascular health.